Hello friends, how are you doing over there? I hope you're doing great. Welcome to Verified Soul and to this video. Now, there's this one thing that we forget. A visa, a green card, which of the two? What are the differences between a visa and a green card? This is something that people going through the visa process never understand, especially those immigrating to the United States. And by the way, guys, the conclusion of things is what matters. So every time you watch the video, watch till the end and get the conclusion of things. Because I normally find questions on the comment whose answers are towards the end of that video. And that shows those people did not watch to the end. They just watched the first part and then came and asked questions. But the answer is normally towards the conclusion. So for this video, I have a neat conclusion on a very important aspect for you as a DV lottery winner. So watch till the end. Now let's clarify what is a visa and what is a green card? At what point do you need a visa? And at what point do you need the green card? And I'm discussing this having in the back of our heads the diversity visa lottery. Now, let's begin with defining a visa or understanding what a visa is. Basically, a visa is a document that gives an individual permit to move to a certain country. It might be on a temporary stay or temporary basis or a permanent basis. So that document that enables you to travel into a different country from your own country, that is what called a visa. And it might go to an extent of giving you some form of residence, either permanent residence or temporary residence. There are many types of visas. If you want to study in a different country from yours, you are issued with a visa to enable you to study. For the case of the United States, the F1 visa. When you want to work or you've gotten a job in a different country from yours, then you are given a work visa, a visa to permit you to work in a foreign country. If you get married to a national of a different country, then you are given a family visa, a spouse visa, to enable you to go through the process. And you can name them. We have also the visit visas, and they are normally the temporary visas. So the document that permits you to do activities in a foreign country whether to live, or to study, or to work, or to visit, or tour, that is what we call a visa. And we have two categories of visas. We have the temporary visas called non-immigrant visa, and we have the permanent visa called the immigrant visa. The temporary visa as it suggests only gives you a temporary stay, temporary presence in that country. But the immigrant visa gives you a permanent resident status. And that brings us to the green card. Now the green card is a type of an immigrant visa. Immigrant visa. And green card is specific to the United States. 
it is the United States that call the permanent resident status a green card, not any other country. So the green card is that visa that give you a permanent resident status in the United States. And with the green card, you can live freely in whichever place you want to in the United States, gives you permission to do any job, the job of your choice within the United States. It gives you some access to government grants and almost all the rights similar to the citizens apart from the voting one and some few grants that you might get from the government. Having understood that, let me now tell you this important thing. In the DV process, when you get selected and you fill the DS-260 form and you go through the interview, then if you are successful, a visa to enable you to travel to the United States is stamped on the passport. And it requires you to have relocated to the U.S. before its expiry. And when you land in the U.S., that airport on which you land is what we call the port of entry, the desk that you will clear with. And on that border patrol, after they have checked your visa and your documents, then the visa will be extended for an year from that time when you land at the airport. The diversity visa is normally called DV-1. So that DV-1 will be extended for a year from that time you land in the airport. And it is extended for a year. That is to mean it will expire after one year of stay in the United States. And why do they do so? This is to give you enough time to have your green card processed, that identity, the green card itself, to be processed. Remember, after the interview or after you've landed, you are required to pay the green card fee, 220 US dollars as I am speaking. That fee enables the USCIS to process your green card identity. And you should note this. Once you land in the US and you are cleared with the border patrol, you are not required to do nothing, nothing at all. You just go in to your host or to wherever you intend to and you wait for the green card. You are not required to do any application. The green card, after being processed, will be mailed to your permanent resident address that you indicated on your DS-260 form. Another thing that you need to know is that the social security number also will be processed and that will be within a short time after you've landed in the United States. It normally takes a week or two weeks for the social security number to be processed. You can either choose to visit the nearest social security office for you to check for that just to know that it is being processed or you may just stay and wait for that social security number that will also be mailed to your permanent resident address. I repeat, for social security number, 
once you land in the U.S., you may stay and wait for it. Or for you just to be on the safe side, you visit the nearest social security offices to check whether it's being processed. And the social security number processing only takes a week, that is seven days, or at maximum two weeks. And in some rare cases, I've had others taking a month. But normally, one week or two weeks, you have your social, sec social security number. So those are the major points I wanted you to note about the diversity visa. And thank you guys for watching up to this far. I know you've gotten the concept clearly. Please don't forget to subscribe and share the video out. Support the channel. Subscribe as well if you have not. And let's meet in the next video.